What is up, everybody? We are back again with another character reveal trailer. Uh, this time it's Alyssa. So let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right into it. She looked cool. Like her outfit was a little unique. But from what we saw, it's like uh, the moves are, she had a lot of chainsaw moves, which looked cool. Um, but we all know the move list videos that came out aren't the final move lists, so she might have new stuff in here. Let's hope she does, right? Let's hope all the characters that got released get new moves from that move list. Like that influencer build that came out. It's weird that they colored her eyes this time around. I think she had black eyes before, right? Okay, size so step four. That's not 12 anymore? Okay. I think that's like a just frame punish, like Chloe's 1-1. One, one. Okay. Hell sweep out of dual boot. Back attack throw. Back one. Down back one, two, unblockable. Interesting. Into the four, two, three, three. Okay. We saw a glimpse of this and it looked hilarious the first time. Anything else happened in it? Ah, boo. Okay, so the tweet showed everything then. All right. Okay, so that's a full tornado. Okay. A bound. Into okay. Oof, that's gonna be rough. Okay, so that's the heat smash. <laughs> that looked weird. Okay, that's the one plus two, I believe. Yeah, so her heat gimmick is her chainsaws when they're glowing, they do a grip of chip damage, apparently. Okay, so that's the floor interactable on this stage. Counter hit back four is still there. Okay. <laughs> he does a scorpion kick on her head and scores a goal on your nutsack. <laughs> Alright, so overall, it looked like she's gonna be mad aggressive. Like, yes, aggressive. That's gonna be the meta for her. Like, you're gonna have to, like, challenge her chainsaws a lot with all those transitions she has now. Oh, man. So she's not gonna be super turtly anymore. She's going to be. I'm gonna go into the chainsaw in your face on a random poke. And you're gonna have to guess the 50 50 on it. Uh, okay, so let me hop into Resolve and chop this up really quick, and we'll get into the analysis. All right, so here we have Sisa 4 into down 2-4, which for some reason, the 12 frame punish whiffed. So it might not be minus 12 anymore. All right, Sisa 4, she's plus, down 2-4. Lars goes for 4-2-4. It's blocked, so it's not minus 12. Alyssa does her just frame 2-2, two, two, which I think in the move list, it was like 31 or 32 damage. So it's it's just like um, Chloe's 1-1 one, one just frame, right? If you do the just frame, it knocks down. If you don't, nothing happens, kind of, right? All right, so this is the saucy sequence. Running two, she can go into the story stance and continue pressure. That is just nuts. So chip damage, plus frames, and in destroy. She does destroy forward one, dual boot into a low, which I think it was, the input was like forward two, two, I believe. Um, we don't know exactly what happens if you block it. <laughs> Chances are it, it just causes chip and that's it. And she can still do the final hit afterwards. We don't know yet. It's a saucy sequence. All right, so here we have Lars doing up forward three. Alyssa punishes with a down forward two into up forward one, I believe. And then she does dual boot. Well, essentially boot, but she's in chainsaws in the story stance, right? So it's called dual boot. And then dual boot forward one, I believe, which turns into an attack throw on hit. I wonder how that move is actually like on block if she goes for it. Like how many hits does it actually do? Because that might be just a chip monster. Okay, here at the wall, she does down back three into the power crush, which is now up back two, I believe. They changed the input on it. And then she goes into, I forgot what that stance is, down back one. So down back one, two, which is the unblockable high, right? So, okay, so up back two, power crush, wall splats, the stance, two, wall splats, and then forward two, three, three. 
chunky damage probably. Alright, and here we have the special intro with Jack. Making, like, turning Alyssa into a goofy character now. Okay, here she starts with a down 3 plus 4, instant tornado, which is the general nerf across the board for the whole cast, right? Um, let's see, so the low. 2 3 4, but she, oh, 2 3, no, 2 3 3, but she whiffs the jab and just does the knee, the knee into the kick. So two, three, three, tornadoes, well, mini tornadoes into jab, into heat burst, does the bound, forward, four, one, four. Okay, so forward forward, one plus two. Now on hit? Who's oh, that counter hit? I have to look at it again. Okay, that looks like it was counter hit. So on counter hit, it's plus 13 at least, because she gets that new forward, uh, the new three, two to connect, which is the heat engager. So 13 at least, three, two, which is the heat engager. She runs in and goes for the heat smash, which is some weird little, like her lower body's rotating. <laughs> it's like a drill with her, with her feet. <laughs> it looks like Morgan's, um, that Morgan move that she does. I don't remember if it was a super or a, a jump move where she kind of like turns around and does like her legs turn into like a little drill. <laughs> That's so funny. Okay, here she does one plus two, which is a heat engager. She just grabs her head, bonks you on the head. All right. So it's I-15 at least, right? And then she goes... Boot one, she was already in heat, so it causes all that chip. Right? Probably what it is, like she probably gets like three damage per chip. Right? Per chip interaction. Because like if they if they double up on the chip damage, that's gonna be overpowered like crazy. But then again, everybody's overpowered so far by the looks of it, so it would fall in line to be honest. All right, here Alyssa's in heat, and she does four, two, one, two. Oh, this happened so fast. <laughs> All right, so four, two, one, two, heat dash. What is that, back two, four? Or is that back two, three, maybe? All right, so four, two, one, two, heat dash. Back two, yeah, it's a three. And that tornadoes, and then she does her old one plus two, which I'm pretty sure is up one plus two now. And then in certain parts of this particular stage, the floor explodes. So if you spike during that part, you get an, an additional launcher. All right, so four, two, one, two, heat dash, back two, three, tornadoes, up one plus two, spikes, floor break, and then four, 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 now is an attack throw, which is kind of cool to be honest. And then here we have counter hit back four, still exists. And then her rage arc, which is pretty hilarious. She, she goes into full on soccer mode. Um, yeah, it's, it's hilarious. I, I, it's goofy. Like I'm guessing they're trying to turn her into a more goofy character now that she's like no longer controlled, right? Story, oh, well, story lore based kind of thing. Like she's no longer controlled by G Corp or whatever. So she has her own independent thinking or something. So. She's letting her personality come out, which is goofiness, I guess. All right, either way, um, final thoughts. She's gonna be super aggressive. Um, she's gonna force a lot of 50-50s because running two is a big thing. Running two into destroy is an even bigger thing. So she's gonna force that because let's be honest, that move was easily spammable. You know, and then you had to hard commit on the duck if you wanted to, which she had a grip of different options to blow you up if you decide to duck. Um, and yeah, I, I, like 
I like the fact that they made her destroy stance. Like, like they gave her a ton of options out of it, right? She has the hell sweep out of the out of the boot. Um, she has the three hit string, which who knows what the frames are on it on block. Um, and then if you're blocking, you're just taking chip damage. And if she's in heat, you're taking extra chip damage. And a lot of her attacks are fast with multiple hits. So yeah, she's, she's, she might be a problem. Um, a lot of it's going to depend also on how her backdash translates into this game. Um, cause who knows, maybe they give her King's backdash where like the faster you backdash, the less distance she does. You know, so yeah, overall, she's looking scary on first glance. We'll have to wait, what, nine days, nine or 10 days for the game to come out for us to actually get our hands on everything and test everything and see exactly how, how many levels of busted every character is. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So yeah, guys, like always, I appreciate your time. Um, if you like the video, don't forget to like, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. It helps a lot. And yeah, guys. Catch you next time. Peace.